Now to new details in our Target 12 investigation contract controversy. Governor Dan McKee reacting tonight after at least two people connected to state government were interviewed by the FBI and state police as a part of a state and federal investigation into a lucrative state education contract that was awarded to a brand new consulting firm. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joining us now from the State House with the new details. Governor Dan McKee commenting publicly for the first time in a 12 News exclusive about the FBI's investigation into the ILO contract. The U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI have joined the Rhode Island Attorney General's investigation, looking into the unusual bidding process that resulted in the McKee administration awarding a contract worth up to $5.2 million to brand new consulting firm ILO Group. News of the investigation first broke on Thursday. Governor Dan McKee commenting for the first time on Saturday outside of the State House. What's your initial reaction to the uh, developments that the feds are now involved in the uh, ILO investigation? Well, I really don't have a comment because I don't know much about it. Uh, clearly, we'll continue to um, uh, provide and collaborate uh, with anyone that's looking at uh, anything that's related to anything that we've done in the office. But other than that, I really don't have a big to be able to add to it, but I don't know much about it. As Target 12 first reported, ILO Group was incorporated the same week Governor Dan McKee was sworn into office. At the time, the firm's founder worked for a close confidant to the governor. We asked McKee when he first learned about the investigation. How did you learn about this investigation? Well, I, I think that there was uh, some word from our office that they had received some word so that we we had heard, um, you know, I think it was, when was that? Wednesday night? Thursday night? When did that run? I believe it was yeah. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, Thursday. So, I, again, there, there's really nothing that I can comment on. I like, you know, I... I I don't want to walk away uh, and not comment because then all of a sudden you think that somehow that, you, look, I don't know much about it. All I do know is that um, we work uh, every day to make the right decisions for the people of the state of Rhode Island and I have the authority to do it and, and we exercise that authority on behalf of the people of the state of Rhode Island. ILO Group received nearly $2 million during a six month period before ending its work with the state. Now, when asked if he knew that colleagues had been interviewed, he responded with, I don't know that to be true. Reporting at the State House, Matt Paddock, 12 News.